Yeah. Nah, nostalgia. Hello. Welcome back to Yeah Nostalgia. Um, after the success of last week's episode about neighbours going off the air, I thought it'd be fun to talk about another extinct Australian television program. Why not, hey Oz? That's right, we're going to be talking about Hey Hey It's Saturday. Um, what is Hey Hey It's Saturday? Luckily, I have this old TV guide trading card to learn from. You can keep your Babe Ruth or Onus Wagner or rookie card. This is more valuable to me. There's Daryl Summers peeking through a little room. Or is it a giant Daryl Summers looking into a normal size room? Let's read the back to find out. Hey, hey, it's Saturday. One of Australia's longest running programs. Hey, hey, it's Saturday just seems to go from strength to strength. Keeping in mind it is now cancelled. Although Channel 7 has shown some interest in bringing it back. <clears throat> Goes from strength to strength. Hosted by Daryl Summers Front and featuring Red Simons, Wilbur Wilde, pictured, and John Blackman, not pictured. The show has undergone many changes, but is still a ratings winner after 24 years. So it started back in 1971 as a kid's morning show wrapped around cartoons. But Hey Hey's true origins go back to the birth of Aussie TV itself with the king of Australian television. Graham Kennedy hosted In Melbourne Tonight in Melbourne, which began in 1958. A variety comedy show, not unlike Hey Hey It's Saturday. Don't believe me? It even had Aussie Ostrich on it. I mean, this could be a clip from Hey Hey It's Saturday. They got the desk and everything. Daryl Summers would watch it growing up and one day be on it too. It's like a passing of the torch. So if Daryl and Ozzy aren't heir apparents to Kennedy, I don't know who is. Larry Ebner? Whatever his name is. Hey Hey lasted a few years as a morning kids show, but more adults watched it than children, so they moved it to prime time, Saturday nights in 1984. And the budget was increased, where you could win a lawnmower for humiliating yourself on red faces. A segment that was like the gong show, judged by Skyhook's guitarist and glasses wearer, Red Simons. Um, uh, um, so last year it turned 50. Um, it's been off the air since 1999, with a few reunion specials thrown in. Fan mail, Summer's Carol. P.O. Box 100, Richmond, Victoria, 3121. Um, I don't know if this address is still accurate. I wouldn't mail anything there. Number 10 in a collection of 32. All-time classic collection. Not to be sold. <laughs> I was going to sell this after the program. Look, my fingers touched it. It's decreased in value significantly. So that's Hey Hey It's Saturday. They didn't mention Ozzy Ostrich here voiced and handed by Ernie Carroll, who passed away recently. Rest in peace. A funny story that always struck me. Um, after Hey Hey was canned, Daryl found himself in a museum one day, and there, in a glass case, 
And so I'm standing next to this glass case, and inside was Ozzy sitting on a chair, um, yeah, propped up. Ernie's arm was not still in the ostrich, um, but it was propped up on a chair, and it was really weird. I, I kind of wanted to start talking to him. That's amazing. They had Ozzy ostrich in a museum, and the instinct to say good day to a puppet just because of years co-starring on TV together. It's a great story. And I think the whole Hey Hey gang had good chemistry. And there was other great cast members, like uh, Lavinia Nixon, uh, Dickie Nee, voiced by John Blackman. Um, I try to have my Dickie Nee blue hat up the front here, but it's very hard to fit into my small boat shed. Ain't that the truth? Tiny houses are a thing on YouTube. Can tiny boat sheds be? But one of the things I love doing is going on YouTube and finding old, old episodes of Hey Hey It's Saturday. The best ones have the old Aussie ads included. So it goes for like two hours. You just put it on and just Pretend you're back in the 80s or 90s. Um, and I tend to buy the products that are advertised. Luckily, not a lot of products have changed. For example, this latest episode of Hey Hey it's Saturday I found online was sponsored by... Hey Hey It's Saturday is proudly sponsored by Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate with that famous glass and a half and the good time and great taste of McDonald's family restaurants. So that's right, we've got the McDonald's, Maccas and Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate. A glass and a half of full cream dairy milk. Mmm, Happy Meals. Hey look, Buzz Lightyear has hair. There's no air in space. But with Cadbury, um, they don't look like this anymore. This is an old expired one. They changed them to look like this now. Kind of modern looking. I'm sure they upped the price because of the war on the Ukraine. Have you seen the new Cadbury commercial? where there's like this girl at a servo working late at night then this guy comes in and seems to be irritated that she's not giving him great customer service with a smile and stuff. Why should minimum paid waged people give a smile? Anyway, as he's walking back to his car, she yells, hey, you forgot your chocolate because he bought her a Cadbury, because he bought a Cadbury chocolate. You know what? Let's just watch the commercial now. Hey, number six and one of those, please. You got this? Love you, Dad. It was her dad the whole time. A twist worthy of Rod Serling's Twilight Zone. My uncle Mark once worked at a petrol station. He worked a lot of jobs. One time he was working there, I dropped by of my car just to say hi. He said, fill up your tank, Sean. Like, all the way? He's like, yeah, he paid for it. Great bloke. Well, thanks for watching What's Hey Hey It's Saturday. Will it be as successful as my in-depth Neighbours review from last week? Let's watch some more footage of me from Home and Away. Here I am at 17, walking past Alf, the greatest moment in my life. The end credits to Hey Hat Saturday were written by
Ricky May. Um, the best version, I think, was one that he performed on Six Showcase. Um, it's just a fun little Australian show from years gone by. That's Pluck a Duck next to Daryl. There you go, that's enough information. Which chocolate should I eat first? Go for the Happy Meal. They gypped me. Pavo. 